Cena in particular, along with, you know, the likes of uh, thinking of Robin and Krom and Roy, they lend themselves to so many individual playstyles. No two Lucinas are alike, no two no two Ikes are alike either. And you know, you can say to yourself, Oh, landing there, but after that patch where they buffed a lot of Ike's kill options and nerfed landing there, the fact is he became a lot less one and two dimensional than people initially slated him off for being. Right. No, it'll be really interesting to go ahead and see things. Ike Tyson used to go ahead and get the down throw to footstool sets. So uh, I know that was Smash 4, though. So I'm excited to go ahead and see what he's able to go ahead and pull and what kind of what kind of technical things he's going to go ahead and pull with his Ike, even if they're maybe it's not so technical because this is Tyrinx. Tyrinx don't let any of that stuff land on him. So uh, it'll be interesting to go ahead and see uh, both players, the, the wills of both players clashing. I, I know this is set to be an amazing set, and I'm excited for it. Don't know if this is the button check or the real thing, but I'm going to imagine it is the real thing. Going straight into it on Smashville. I like it. What a good start. Ike Tyson sitting a shield waiting on the side. He wants Tyrinx to approach first. It feels like. Gets the Nair. Not much afterwards, though. Good up air from that. Ooh, he just, he's just willing to fight his way out of it. I like that. Ike Tyson getting off the side there. Back to the stage. Gets the Nair into back air. Over on the side with it. What do you well, thought so far on it? What are you what are you thinking about it so far? This back and forth is a lot closer than I imagined that maybe we thought would be a lot more one-sided at one point or another. Yeah, Tyrank's doing a great job of keeping the play from side to side, never ending up above Ike Tyson. That up air and that forward air cover a lot of space and that counter already signaling some intentions. Yeah, Ike does not want to go ahead and have that counter. He's already ready for it. You can already see it from each time he's been trying to recover the stage. Every time he's not up beat once. So, oh, good parry up from Tyrinx. That's Tyrinx parry. Gets the forward tilt. He's off the stage. He air dodges back. Not able to go ahead and punish just that Nair. Gets him off there with that. And the up B out of shield's going to take that first stock. Tyrinx sitting at 100%. Dash attack. Ike Tyson returns the favor. Great coverage. Smashville, not a space that offers you a lot of breathing room going Ooh, into that back. Look at that. 43. It's a cute 43%, but it's nice. I love it. This is actually a very high octane match. Both players trading each other in kind. I love it. I love that Tomahawk grab from Tyrinx a moment ago. Just well in tune to Ike Tyson's thinking around the ledge, but once he gets back to center stage, that's where Ike Tyson can start to manifest a bit more control. It feels like Ike Tyson really plays a lot more grounded, and Tyrinx is really just ruling the air. Ike Tyson's going to have to go ahead and find a way to go ahead and master both if he's going to go ahead and find this next match. But instead, slot stock Tyrinx taking a lead. Oh, Tries to up air him, but he catches him beforehand. And not going for that final hit of Dancing Blade. This is absolutely savage hits coming out from Ike Tyson, and then really technical hits coming from Ty Tyrinx. And I love to see it! I'd almost thought of the catch, but both times he's been able to dodge it. Tyrinx really pushing in on the heat. These Loving his pushes. With the multi hits and spot dodges, there we see another one again. Tyrinx with an extra stock to play with, but Ike Tyson not out of this. Not at all. It seems the will that he has is indomitably pushing him forward to go ahead and take this next stock. Just finding this one hit, this next hit, could mean everything for him. Outrageous that parry. The parry! But nothing, you can feel the tension from them going back and forth now. They know that the next hit means everything to them. Ike has to be very careful, and Tyrinx already knows. Oh, that's gonna find the kill! Ike Tyson going through the armor to get Tyrinx off his up B! What a really fun interaction. He has to go inside B back. He counters him, and that's gonna be the first game! We saw Tyrank's attempting to find a counter from the very start of this match, and after throwing out one attempt, saved his second one for the very end. Yeah, no, it's the first time he actually got that to land. Ike Tyson so well aware of that counter situation, but he knew that was his only option, and so did Tyrank. So, of course, being able to capitalize after that first game, Tyrank is going to go up 1-0 so far. Incredible first game. Yeah, and in the middle of that sort of tit-for-tat sequence in the second stock, Ike Tyson knows that there's a lot of positives to be taken from that. And if one or two interactions go differently, this could easily tilt in his favor. Yeah, it, would be it would be exciting for him to go ahead and tip the fates. Wrong game. But um, it'll be exciting to go ahead and see how this next week. He's taking a moment, really thinking, really methodically. Maybe either going over what's in his head or just trying to think about if the stage pick is different. If he needs to go ahead and pick a little bit more room to walk around, so hopefully he's not off the stage sooner, or if he does like that small stage so he doesn't feel like Tyrinx has as much mobility. Yeah, if you're Ike Tyson, you have to just weigh that calculation. Is the low ceilings, you know, are the low ceilings worth being choked out on the sides a couple times? Mm -hmm. 
but I think Ike has been really well at the early percentage. Even when Tyrants goes ahead and starts pouring on the percent, Ike's been able to go ahead and find his recovery and back to his areas. The stage presence that both players have is incredible. I really think that Tyrants is working really well in the air, and Ike has to go ahead and watch with that. He rules the ground really well, though, and Tyrants is also worried about that. So you can see how worried that he wasn't worried about it at first. He goes and puts on a nice 34%. Good starting from the game for for Ike Tyson. All but the parry. Tyrant's gonna go ahead and find his little hit, hit there. And this is interesting. Moving on to Omega Battlefield. So essentially, FD Ike Tyson giving up those vertical extensions in favor of just saying, "Okay, I need more space. I need to take control now. I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of advantage state for an extra leg up in neutral." And I think he also did it for the music pick because if you can hear this, this is kind of a banger. Liking it that he went ahead and picked the Tekken music. Poked through the stage a little bit and parried. That's kind of rough for him. But I like it. This is a really fun pick. Good down smash! Mike Tyson has the stage. Yeah, not only a good down smash, but good knowledge in the moment to just recognize that Dolphin Slash safe, not safe rather, on hit at such a low percent. Oh. Oh, he narrowed on him. He's off the stage. Yeah, he's going to get countered again for it. Mike Tyson has it kind of rough right now, but it's also on beat! <laughs> this is a very entertaining game to watch. Tries to go ahead and hit him off the side like that. Not able to do so. Good shield pressure, though. That shield. Oh! And he caught him with it. I was surprised that that almost took the stock. Breaking oh, no. Out. And he's off the stage. He was trying to go for it. But instead, he pays the price with his stock. It's sad that it's coming down to it like this. All the right ideas, but just the wrong outcome for Ike Tyson. That was sadly unfortunate. Still, he's off the stage. One jump. He air dodges off the side there. Gonna try to hit the four tilt, just miss. Landing there. But things have been crazy before. You never know, it could be reverse three stock. But against someone like Tyrinx, I ain't so sure. Every trade in his favor though gets that. Yeah, it just wasn't close enough to go for that up B. He thought he spaced that. I know he was thinking about it for space because he wanted to get the four tilt afterwards. No, nah, and that's it. He'll at least take one more stock with him before Ike Tyson goes ahead and loses in the wave one pools. Tyrinx goes to go ahead. Nice fist bump. Good class.